This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Lookup forms are one of my favorite techniques, and they're very fun to do, they're very easy to do, but most importantly, they will dramatically improve your data entry in the office environment. So for instance, let's say that you have folks that are entering sales orders information. They're on the phone, and the customer calls, and they look up, and they know that this customer is customer number 29. So they type 29 into their form, and it automatically pulls up the customer's name, the company, the address, all of the information that's been attached to the form is there about the customer. They can validate who the customer is and then enter the order details. It is so clever. So you have to start with a query. So let's create a query so you can then create a lookup form. So first thing is we're going to do a query in design view. And the tables that we want, we want a customer list that's going to hold our customer name and phone number, all of that important information, and then whatever table you need the data to be entered into. So the table that I want the data entered into is a table called amount of order in dollars. So I'll grab that table and click on close. And my properties are open here, so I'll go ahead and close the properties. Now, here's the trick. The two tables that you're utilizing have to be related, right? So in the customer list table, customer ID is the primary key, in the order of excuse me, amount of orders in dollars table, customer ID is the foreign key. So when these two tables were related, the customer ID field is what created the relationship. So here's the trick, it's this simple. When you want a lookup form or a lookup query, you pull the field that relates the two tables, but you pull it from the foreign side. It's not the primary key. So I'll grab customer ID and I'll drag it down here into the first field. Now, that's my lookup. Well, what do I want it to look up? Anything from the customer list table. So I'm not actually going to be typing in any data in this table. The only purpose that this table serves for me now is lookup. So which fields from the customer list table do I want available on my form? Well, I want company, I want first name, I want last name, I want I don't know if I need the phone numbers and so on and so forth, but in the real world you would. You'd simply place in here whatever you need to show up on your form. I'll just stop there, otherwise my form will get overwhelming. But real world, you put exactly what you need to show. And then from the amount of orders in dollars, this is the table that's actually going to uh, receive the data entry. So now which fields from here do you actually need the data entered into? Customer ID is already here, so we're good to go with that one. So I want product through amount. I want all of these. Actually, you know what? I only want product through unit price because I have a calculated field that automatically is going to calculate the amount, so I don't need to include that. Or I do want to include it because I haven't created the calculated field, whatever. You just choose the fields that you want to enter into the form. And now, let's go run our query and see what we have. Okay, so you have a typical query. Here's where the power is. Let's get to the bottom of this query and let's enter the next new record. So when you enter data into a query, remember the data is stored on the table, so it's actually entering the data on the table. So when I say, well, I need customer 28, it says, oh, well, that'll be company BB. You see how it gives me all of the information for that particular company? And then I can start entering the information here for the orders. Awesome, now, I don't really wanna add that, so. Let me go ahead and delete that information. Okay, now what do I do with this? I save it. So I'll click on save and we'll call this a lookup uh, query for my form. A lookup query for my form. And we'll say okay to that. So a lookup query for my form. And now what I'm going to do is go to my queries. Oops, went too far there. A lookup query, is this the one? A lookup query for my form, right? There's my lookup query that I just created, a lookup query for my form. Let's close this, we don't need it any longer. And with that selected, I'll choose create, and I'll just let the 
the wizard do the work for me. It's not even a wizard, it's like the magic and <laughs> do the work. If you wanted to control the way this looked, you might want to do a little bit of different action for how you are creating the form. And then of course, you'd want to change the title here. There'd be some a few things that you would want to change. One of the things you want to change is you don't want the tab stop to be on company, first name, last name, or business phone. So right away, let's go to design view. Let me open up the properties and we want um, company under the other tab. You have tab stop, no. First name, tab stop, no. Last name, tab stop, no. And business phone, tab stop, no. And then something else that I think would be helpful is to format these a little bit differently so they show a bit differently on your screen. But you know how to format, and I don't want to take the time to show you formatting techniques because you know how. I just want you to know I think it maybe could look a little better than it's about to look in my form. So now when I go to the form, it's typical. It's created from a query, and so it's showing you all the information from the tables. But now the benefit is next new record. When I go to the next new record and I say to the customer, and your customer ID please, and they say, I'm number four, and you type in a four, it says, oh, well that's company D, it's Christina Lee, and here's the phone number. So now I can validate. And remember, it will show anything you pulled off of the primary key table, which is called the parent table, or the primary table. And now, the user then could continue with the data entry for entering in whatever it is that they need about this particular order. The information is not stored anywhere on the parent table. It's pulled, it's looked up from the parent table. Where the data is actually stored is on the next table, which is where I'm typing now, which would be on the table called amount of orders in dollars. Anything I type here would be stored on that table. Isn't that a great trick? So now real world, I'd wanna fix up my form just a little bit, make it look nice, do some pretty formatting features on here, and then distribute it out to my users. So when they need to, they can utilize this form to look up company information and then fill in the proper data. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.